Hey lads and girls and welcome to my let's play of Minecraft. Um I'll just drop the door right here right now, just kick the door in, just drop it and let it be. Um The biggest problem I'm facing right now is that I don't even know what to call the world, so just call it uh survival world, whatever. It's not really important. What is important is well, actually, I don't know, because there's a lot to unpack, and as we just progress with the journey, we just get to it bit by bit. As you see, I just started on hardcore survival mode, because I do like to have a little bit of a challenge. I'll probably feel miserably. miserably. Um, but yeah, it's nice to meet all of you, and I hope you will enjoy the journey with me. I'm just starting out and talking at the same time because that's part of the journey. There's a lot to unpack, as I said before. If I haven't introduced myself yet, my name is Xenu. And although I used to play Minecraft a long time ago, it's been quite a while. And I just recently bought Minecraft because of nostalgia. There there has been quite some updates which I'm completely unfamiliar with. I know some basic concepts um, such as the updates in the nether. I think... Hold up. Yeah, there we go. I think uh, the ants got an update. I don't know if there are new monsters. I don't know if there are new uh, items added. But I think it's been around over 10 years or so since I played the last time. And the whole point of this little adventure is that I'm just going to enjoy it. There's no specific goal like try to slay the ant dragon or try to build and slay the wither. It's just, you know, a little adventure like an old school MMORPG style adventure. Uh, I, I start off great, absolutely great being lost in the forest. I see something over there, some freedom and it's a desert. Oh, this one says you can make glass with that something. There's some water here, just need a food source. Um, and for all of you people that are watching, like, yeah, what am I supposed to do? Because I'm just watching, listening, maybe seeing a little bit. Um, I just recommend sit down, wait. Oh, there's a part over there. Great. Please don't kill me. Um, just sit down, lay down, get yourself comfortable, get some snacks, and just, you know, enjoy the ride. You see, the thing is, life can get quite overwhelming sometimes, regardless of circumstances, and I myself uh, pride myself to always be somewhat busy. I like to make video games, I like to write stories, I'm not going too far into details but I do have a job and if you're busy 24 7 is that okay great then you can get easily overstimulated and overloaded with all the information you're getting in all the things you have to do and what more so sometimes you just need a little bit of a break and Minecraft as it used to be in the past is an excellent way to just you know, dump some time into something not necessarily productive, but at least it makes me feel better and I hope it also makes you feel better as you just follow with me on this journey. To basically just unwind from reality that's always so overwhelming. Well, aren't you beautiful? Um, yeah, and I do plan to take on some challenges, like I think there's an update about so-called illagers and for the people who are also new, like me uh, because uh, Minecraft has several updates through the time over the years uh, illagers are basically evil villagers and villagers are basically non-playable characters so one of the things they added with that update, as far as I know, is the so-called raids, where evil villagers that can attack try to kill off a whole city under certain uh, conditions. And 
among several updates i do plan to take on some challenges when i played back then when you just go into the water you're fine you can just go dive deep you don't need gear you don't need anything it's acting a dandy but since i left there's also been some updates on certain temples i know there's a desert temple it's nothing special but there appears to be also a water temple and i think i tried to go into the water once i could say i could slay so bad like get good attack you filthy Libyan scrub and true to my nature as a gamer most of you who probably this for also gamers will understand is that we do like a good challenge you know taking a combination to the good old fashion of rpg mmo rpg uh role play so that's rp i believe i did not get the bunny i did not Oh, I got points. Um, yeah, we, we like a challenge and we like to adventure. There's a lot to, to ruin too much, I'll keep it short. There's also a study about the type of players, regardless of uh, the game type, like fighter games or 2D side scrollers, etc. But most prominent in online oh, in online games that reveals all sorts um all the types are the fact that this study shows that there are four type of gamers these types being adventurers socializers uh, achievements and play killers and as the name mostly already suggests and i'm trying to think as I game and talk at the same time because if night falls and I don't have some sort, sort of shelter this run is going to be very short I'm afraid since it's hard to play from as the name suggests of each game type slash player um, yeah there's something to gain from playing games in general and I have no idea where, where I'm going or what I'm doing I don't know why I'm actually just not simply preparing because that's what I need the most. Does this go? Oh, wait, that's the lock. Um, but the socializers, well, having just the social interactions between players and well, other players or players and NPCs. The adventurers would like to just discover new stuff, which is great in Minecraft because there's a lot to discover in general. The achievers will just try to see if they can beat the challenges set by the players. And of course the... Well, I will call them duelers, even though they're officially called play killers. Who are just in for the competitive from play against players instead of players with players. So instead of trying to you know, play the game and see if you can get through the challenges together, you're actually trying to see if you're better at the same game than your opponent. And if you just break it all down, I think Minecraft has a little bit to offer of everything. So you could argue about uh, Minecraft being an MMORPG with a single player option. I'm just going to take myself in because when I falls, I just want to be safe. I'm probably not because it's going to be dark here. Oh, I'm so doomed. Great. I love the challenge. <laughs> In any case, um, yeah, and as I said at the start of the video, as we journey, as we travel together on this journey, we just see what we can do and just unwind from the reality that is to be world with everything that's so quite overwhelming. Um, it might be that you're still studying, it might be that you're working, maybe you do a study work, like work at the daytime and study at the night time. Uh, you might be single, you might be in a relationship. I keep thinking there are monsters around me. Um, maybe I can lead some fire other ways than coal. Um, you, you might have a lot of family members, maybe none. Um, 
anything in every... Not you. You're the real spider. Uh, yeah, with everything that's going on in your life, sometimes you just need a little moment to unwind from everything, and I think it's going to be a little bit fun to just, you know, train it together. It's considered like a movie, except you're playing an active role, or at least partially. Is it getting? I think it's getting dark. Okay, um, I need something before I'm going down. Creepers might be able to blow that up on such a short range. Okay, good. No, wait, that's doesn't really matter. Wait, that doesn't work. That doesn't work. Oh, that works. Huh. And the general idea that we're just slowly progressing, discovering, uh, achieving as well, everything combined, hopefully it makes for a fun experience. Please have help. It's dark, I'm scared, I'm not there. Um, so this is already the first night and yeah, a couple of minutes passed by since I started. Just to clarify, and I'll probably make a lot of new mistakes as well. I haven't played Minecraft in like 10 years or so. And I just bought the game again because I lost my old account. And everything is as much as a discovery for me as it is for you. But we aren't here to be the best player, we're just here to have a little bit of fun. As long as not, not some sort of random big monsters going to try to kill us, I need to make torches or I'm gonna die. At least I don't know if they changed that. And my hunger is going down extremely fast. Um, as far as I know, hostile monsters do spawn in the dark. I don't know how much space they need to be able to spawn. That did not scare me at all. Not a little bit. You're scared. I'm not scared. I am scared. I'm just hoping I'm gonna get some laughs and giggles out of you. And some food out of this. What is it? Stone furnace? Oh, of a furnace. Just regular furnace. Because there are new items added to the game, I guess. Oh, yeah. The, the major update before I quit it. So, you actual veterans know how long I haven't played the game. The Elektra was added right after I stopped. <laughs> That old. Um, I might be able to make better tools because I actually have materials for better tools. And I have no idea where to go from here because I don't have a way to navigate. I don't have a way to get anything I need. I have no way to survive. I have no idea what I'm doing except for trying to survive the best I can do using my capabilities as a gamer. And it's not really that exciting right now because I'm going taking the chicken route, which means... What's that sound? I do not like stranger sounds. As I said, I'm going to take the chicken route, route round, which basically means I'm hiding a lot until I feel a little bit more safe about trying to fight some of these monsters. And 
as a geologist, I know that rocks minerals are quite useful if you just know what to do with them. So, for the people who play Minecraft a lot longer than I do, who have been more up to date with the more recent update, know that this might be a little bit wasteful. But if you're a little bit like me, and you can be, can be a little bit more creative, there we go, then maybe we can make things just a little bit easier. First of all, I need tools. Lots and lots of tools. Because truth is in the nature of Minecraft, I'm going to terraform the living well, I'm not going to say the word because apparently you're going to get banned on YouTube. Oh, which is maybe obvious hindsight. But I do plan to upload this on YouTube because if you're watching this, it's most likely on YouTube. So as I said, that's a little bit redundant saying so. It's a little bit in hindsight. Uh, the whole point of this is just to... Oh my, does it ever get daytime again or does it stay nighttime forever? Please, don't be changed. Don't be changed. Because, as mentioned before, playing games is just part of my daily routine. Making games, um, keeping up with my job, etc. I'm not going to answer any of those more private questions. Not that I really care if you know, but that would kind of defeat the purpose of, you know, joining in the right that is Minecraft. Please be calm. Daytime. I don't see any monsters. I'm expecting like 50 creepers just jumping on top of me. It's way too quiet. Just like it's going to be a little bit boring. It's going to be a little bit boring, but it's going to be completely fine. Because I'm going to change everything. To my cross nature, I'm gonna terraform, I'm gonna craft. Oh, how original! I'm gonna do a little bit of herbalism, a little bit of alchemy, which is actually my favorite part. I mean, I do like the combat part and the craft part too, but if there's one thing that really hooked me up as a, a <laughs> do I dare to say, a support healing damage class in most type of games that has a class system. Alchemy really does. Was that a wait, giggle? Alchemy really helps me to level the playing field. Potions, Peri, magical enchantments. Enemies I don't like that I can just instantly. Now well, just make this appear. So we have a lot of stone, we have some tools. I just need to think ahead a little bit. I need ores, so gold, iron, whatever ores they just added. I think diamond was a thing. I don't know if they removed that. Probably not. Maybe they added a new type of diamond or a new type of mineral. I mean, quartz, that's a nice mineral too. I hope they have that. Um, I don't know exactly what I can build. I can't imagine armor made of cobblestone is nice uh tools that, there has to be something more i can do with cobblestone okay slabs walls which reminds me uh as i said before i'm i'm going on this journey trying to nope that was an enderman i do not want to see that in the dead of night when it can kill me in like two hits. I do plan to. Hey, daytime. Thankfully. I thought it would never be daytime camp. I do plan to try to get many as many achievements as possible, which are mostly just challenges I put upon myself or it's just set for myself and just try to achieve. And. One of my guilty pleasures, to be honest, and not that 
much of the secret as it is a guilty pleasure, is to play the role of a leader, like a warlord. So, I hope I'm going to find a village. I can say, this is my village. I'm going to fortify the village. And I'm just going to piss off, piss off some illagers. And I'm just going to dominate them. If they don't dominate me. Because I have no idea how many villagers will run after me. I don't know how strong they are. I don't know if the villagers even can fight back. Maybe the golem can fight back. That's still a thing. Sorry, fish. Actually, I'm not even sorry with all due respect. You're right. And. Yeah, probably it's not a challenge anymore with all the updates and it's pretty old. I thought it was daytime. Zombie game, not. I never actually thought that a lone win against a wither. And a wither might not be that strong anymore with all the updates and because you have something called power, power creep which means Everything that is new is automatically better and stronger than before. Well, anything that comes before. Simply just to keep the players engaged. And since... Is that lava? Please. The lava. Right. Since the Wither is extremely old, I highly doubt that it will be quite a challenge to defeat one once we have what we could call a mid-tier set of armor and weaponry and I see absolutely nothing as far as I can see. No villagers, no illagers, no no houses, no buildings, no caves. Well that's maybe a cave. This is just death. Nope. So I'm pretty lost. I think I'm just gonna spelunk a little bit if I can find a cake or I can make a sand castle and just leave it there. Like, look at me, I just made. Hello. I am so. And a temple. I think that's a temple or whatever it's called. Is it booby trap? Is it, is it there? I think it's there. But this might work. I mean, it's a little bit dry. And... No, you know what? I said it. I'm gonna do it. This is my village now. Villagers, listen to me. This is my village now. Oh, that, that, that's useless. God, you're useless. Hi. Yeah, no, I, 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 I don't have you. Huh. This is new to me. Uh, can talk to people. I think something to do with. Not you. <laughs> I think it has to do something with uh surroundings with a map. I... Oh hey, okay. something. Roots, I can survive. Oh, there we go. That's something. And uh, yeah. So going down again. I'm just checking out this village. It's already claimed by me. It's my village now. And I'm going to use this entire village as a base. I do not like to sound one little bit. Is this... Uh, oh, wait. Is that the same one? That, that's why it's important to always check out your surroundings. And I hope I'm still quite understandable because... It may sound a little bit like I'm mumbling, and I see that the village is extending quite a lot. Maybe it might be a regular size village. But the thing is that if I'm going to fortify this village and turn it into an actual base, I do not get it done right. That hurts. That's weak. That's like what? Three blocks? 
probably already with that one. So this is basically a border, which is kind of dangerous because general in warfare, anybody that's on a higher position can easily strike down compared to people who has to strike up. So this is actually disadvantage. Uh, we do have fish here, which is useful for a port. I don't know how far this goes. I don't know if they added new types of water transport because I know there's a boat. I don't know if they have like motorized boats or larger boats or anything. But this can be used as a point, also as a source for food for the fish, so that's good. Um, and I'm gonna check on the other side. I'm probably gonna you know, just dive into the bad night for once. There is some wood over there. And oh, there's another building over there. Well, I don't care for you. I'm planning to just load this part off if it's needed. If I do find uh, illegers, I don't know if they are going to come to me if I stay in the fish too long. But this is going to be my base. Is that building two? Is that just no, just natural cave, natural mountain? So that's my first mission. Um, make it to my personal utopia. Maybe I can make some sort of farm if villagers still do the farm thingy. That's a different cat because the last one was white. Uh, me out to you too. Again, that's like three blocks. Now I'm gonna test this too. I hope it doesn't kill me because that will be kind of better. First one, Those sounds are pretty loud. First run, 10 minutes, and then just die because you go to hide. Just limping. Let's see. That's supposed to be around 3 blocks? Wow, that actually does damage. So, the whole damage is real. I kind of want to save and then just reload if this goes wrong, but that's not how hardcore mode or I think it's called hardcore mode works. Kind of hesitant to step in. I don't. Oh, no, 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 no. That's a different kind of explosive trap. I do not deserve this. Yeah, that's that's probably a boob trap. And there's another boob trap inside called a, a creeper. Oh, um, another thing. And this might come a little bit late for all the people who are actually new to Minecraft because sometimes you might think, yeah, how is that possible? Minecraft is pretty old. There you go. <laughs> that was a little bit weird. Um, yeah, Minecraft is pretty old, so you would think that with such a large community a lot of people would know what minecraft is but there's always a newer generation no the game oh you can talk i'll talk to you um there will always be new people to experience everything for the first time i'm sorry please please don't kill me i'm not dead yet that's a miracle so are you okay? You're not okay. I, I didn't say anything. There will be people who are actually new to Minecraft and if they see my video, this little adventure, it might actually be the very first. I did not punch the villager. I did not. They, they, uh, th this might be their very first impression of this game. And they have probably no idea what what is going on. So I also will try to explain things a little bit as if we're all noobs. As if it's the first time for everybody because as shocking as it might be. I have no idea what to do. I need to find a cake for materials. Uh, as shocking as it might be. For some of us, this might be our very, very first time we actually see or hear the game and the night is falling. 
So you don't have to feel ashamed about it because, well, you're not alone. And again, we're not here to be the best player or. Okay. Not in my time yet. Or, you know, to be the person with the most achievements. So you don't have to worry about it. I think the sun is setting that stuff. Yet. I'm really staring manlessly into the distance as the sun slowly sets down. Jesus. Golo, can you not scare you know me out of myself? Yes, you. I wanna punch you, but you're gonna kill me like two hits. And then this whole show's over. This my bet. No! Yeah. It's my pet. I'm the boss here. Got you? Hey. Yeah, I see you too. There we go. Sorry, Pelletier. You, you, you just have to suck before night. If it makes you feel any... Wait. Okay, you go. Yeah, good for you. I'm gonna bless you all with a gift, so you, you should better be grateful for this. I hope. Uh, do I have seats or anything? I have. I, I completely forgot how far the seat worked, so. Uh, first of all, draw it. I mean, if I think logically, nothing's gonna grow here because it's just too much sand, too hard. So, to make the. Make, make the village more comfortable for me. I mean, the villagers. Because, huh? No, I'm just sorry. There we go. I'm such a generous person to help the villagers, totally not for myself or anything at all. There we go. I'm just gonna tear it off a little bit. And I just realized I have no way to get a border. Oh, well, that's fine. You know me when I click this. This is not crisping. Oh, right, right. Because I have that in my hands. Uh, so I'm just going to terraform the area a little bit. And what it's supposed to do is. It helps me a little bit to survive easier. The less time I actually spend trying to survive, the more time I can spend to do stuff. And I am admittedly somewhat of an achiever slash collector type of person. So I'm really in for the experience. Not the in-game experience, as you see at the lower bar, but just the experience of, hey, that's a new thing I tried. Oh, wait. There we go. Get it, Mickey. And I'm glad there's probably somebody out there that's like, Mickey! No. And I'm like, I'm sorry? Maybe? I'm a horrible monster. Hello. Hey, do I know my direction? It's it's properly over there. If not, I'm lost, and then this village is lost, and it's lost because I'm not on the spike tonight. What was it called again? Karma? Probably Karma. So that's going to be my escape route, which I'm going to need. Is this the same steel one? Wait, is this steel? Iron? That looks completely new. And quite fancy too. Wait, what kind of ore is this? I've never seen this one before. I'm not even kidding. I mean... I do not like dark, clicky sounds. I mean, there are no such thing as 
That's the light clicking sounds I got. Copper. Wait, they added. What did they already add? Copper? Did I forget? I forgot about copper. But they did not look like that. And this area is rich of iron. It's insane. Normally I would be lucky if I find like, you know, four pieces. But then again, that's like about 10 years ago. So maybe people just like them more this way and then they just change it to, you know, please the player base. I'm getting in and out of reality too much. And that's a little bit of problem with how I approach things. I do not like to post this. It's too dark. It's way too hard. It's so dark. Nope. It's so dark. But sadly, I can hear you. This is fine. This is fine. I'm not panicking. You're panicking. What? I just got the materials I need right now. Not. My time yet, but I'm gonna give the gift of I completely lost the name of the type of gift I'm gonna give. Rejuvenation. Basically the idea there will be an abundance of food and well in the form of health. Made sounds a little bit strange because it just kind of works together. But if you take some elements from fantasy and mostly nature attuned fantasies and the tribal concept with native people and Indians, and people are also highly attuned to nature itself, like forest walkers, forest travelers, um, rejuvenation, uh, health are important. And those are the type of. Can you not hurt me? I, I had a feeling someone was stalking me. Don't do that. Get some help. Don't do it. Get some help. Um, yeah. Well, isn't measured in how much property you have or. How much uh, financial power you have, like money, but to them, health it, or wealth and power is measured in the abundance in life. How healthy you are, how much stamina you have, how much uh, food you have to eat and to share, how much you can heal, restore. Uh, yeah, regenerates wounds or heal wounds and uh, fight off illnesses. So, completely unplanned. Since this area, this village is placed in a desert where there's a lot of trout and try As you can see, at least I don't see a farm here. So, I'm going to give them the gift of... Well, basically, well, in the shape of plants. I'm also destroying, like, all uh, of the village, but hey, you know, gotta bring some eggs to make an omelet. And I'm gonna, and I'm doing this all backwards. Uh, actually, it does really matter, just put it here central. It would be easy to find. I don't want to use this because I might need that. Uh, copper. I still can't remember if I've seen copper before, but it should not really matter because that's something in the past and we're right here right now. Gonna kick it up in overdrive. There we go. You, you. Oh, whoopsie. Perfect. And you. Uh, here, there. And I'm gonna add you. Oh, and glass might be something we need later. Um, 
I do vaguely remember that glass was needed in alchemy with potions to make the glass go in fields or whatever you want to call it. There's a bell behind the door that's going. This guy does. Oh, I remember one of the updates, I think, if I'm not mistaken, has a level system not only for yourself but also for villagers. And I think it was something about um, if you work the villagers, the villagers also get better at whatever they do. And this guy wants traits. So I'm just gonna make what is unrightfully, rightfully mine because uh, I fairly stole you know, to control all this village. And what the NPC, what the villager wanted were, what, were, what are they called? Emeralds? I think they were emeralds. I mean, that will make sense because they are green and it's going to be dark again. So I'm just going to trade and see if it, well, basically levels up. I hope not because it will really suck if this is all it has to trade. I mean, if it only has paper and the only thing you can have here is paper, that's well, kind of pointless, isn't it? It's like, yeah, I'm going to need sand, but I don't know where to find sand because I'm in the desert. Or, you know, I need salt water, but I can't get salt water because I'm in the middle of the ocean. Oh, wait. Yeah, okay. You out. No. <laughs> there we go. Hey, I did make the promise to only annoy one villager per night. As in, you know, rotating the world or who has to summon for me. I forgot. Three blocks is enough to really kill me if I just jump. You really need help. You really need help, man. It's enough to kill me if I just keep going down, and I'm pretty sure I saw it. Oh, somewhere. I mean, how hard can it be to just... Uh, how should I say this? Just, just go through every building, just... Take what is mine. Because I... Rightfully took this village. Wait, are you the, the, the same person you probably are, yeah. Uh, I will find those emeralds. I, I, I want to say diamonds. I think diamonds are blue, so that would, be, that would not make any sense at all. I also want to... I also want to go into that... Uh, uh, what is it? Trunk? Grape? Cricker grape. It's not a grape, it's not a grape, it's a grape. You see, everybody makes mistakes, and that's not a beautiful part of this little picture. Yeah, we, wait, that's everything we have. That's probably not even enough for a single trade. I am absolutely discombobulated about how not useful that is. Also, I'm just realizing that it's a tower, which uh, the, I just walked in a couple of times, but that also means, there we go, maybe some tools. Not the inter. Let's see what we can make with that. Um, that we can use it for several goals, because a high location also means a high scouting point and nice advantage point. So if I can fortify this, I always have a last stand position and if I make an underground tunnel, I do have a way to escape. I just have to make sure that I do that before any real danger shows up, if that happens. I, I don't know how I attract danger except for being, you know, outside the night time. Uh, that being said, I do have to tools I can work with, shear. I think that's a shear. Yeah, shear sheeps. I uh, 
Coffee with pressure plates that probably is useful for something I don't know what. I don't even see a bucket, but I should be able to make a bucket. Oh, okay, there we go. Was that a spider? Yeah, I'm surprised too. Very, very much surprised. Such parachute. So I probably could not see anything because I can't craft it. And now that I have the table, I can craft items. Crossbow. That's a nice addition if I'm gonna, gonna change myself in, basically into the class of a hunter. Oh, a shield? Okay, that's fancy. A block of rock copper. Block of copper? There's the boat. The paper chest. Smithing tick. That's new to me. A smoker. I don't know what it does in game, but if I take the real life version, it should work just fine. But oh, that's the bucket. That's the glass bottle, as I wished for. Copper. And these are just components. Um, so to continue on our little journey, which is already taking way too long, I believe. I don't even know how long I've already been here, so uh, just think about what I can do. Um, I'm so confused in so many ways. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, that's all the information I need. Just, just a little bit background information. Oh, wait, I just need one. Okay. So the first thing that I said that I was going to do is the gift of refrigeration. I really just butchered that word. I'm very sorry, all you Zuridic and native forward holding gamers, people, role players, all of the above. Uh, I'm trying to punch the water with a bucket and see how that works. I probably landed one or two critical hits. It, it, it's a game scope. So I'm just gonna make a farm here. I hope it works. Actually, I should make a farm where a lot of villagers are. So yeah, I just destroyed this whole part. It's not like script. Oh. I feel, I feel like my intelligence dropped a little bit, because this guy's working with paper, he makes scribbling noises, he's probably working on a map, and that's an empty map, he's probably making materials for his own shop, wow, don't, don't, just don't look so judgmental at me, okay, yeah, shoot. There we go. So this part of the middle of the village. I'm just gonna terraform this part. Wait, am I? Yeah, I mean, I'm using it. I think, I hope. I mean, this looks like solid block, so I'll probably need a big axe to get through. Uh, I'm gonna make it... Yeah, one more white, and then I'm just gonna attach the barn here to this pole. It's probably not going to be a big farm, I don't know how much food I'm going to get out of this. I don't know if the farms even will farm. So I'm going to try anyway. Because I just checked the actually time I spent it on it and it's been more time I'm spending on this than I really want to. And I hope it's still just... Wait, I even get blocks, dirt, dirt blocks, perfect. Please stop being so judgmental, I'm trying my best. Actually, what did you do today? Yeah, exactly, As ask each other what did you do today? Oh. I, I, I can be very mean. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna close this. No safety reasons. I mean, it's a desert now, but I've, if I don't take care of it, the next thing we're gonna have is complete fruit. Then we're gonna 
like the next Atlantis. Uh, of course, I need water. And as I mentioned before, I'm doing this for way longer than I planned it to do. This is really small for anything. But you have to start somewhere. I really need to think bigger because we're working with the whole village and this is barely enough to even sustain me. Uh, given the fact that the village has been living here since the start of the game, they will be, you know, gone as by now. If they need uh -huh. wood or, or those sneakies have their own little stash of wood that I'm not aware of as an outsider. But I highly doubt that the game is made with such an in-depth. I'm just going to make these for myself. And what I'm really hoping here for, as you can see, it's actually working. The water is uh, refreshing the soil, which with the sunlight, in a warm temperature, warm area, the shoots grow well. I, I want to make a reference to something that really grows well as to, you know, set an example, but I don't have any. Now the real question is, will the villagers actually do the work for me? And I don't even have wood because I think they need a chest to store everything. The sun is setting, which is a little bit alarming because I don't think you can fall asleep if there are monsters nearby. This shooting. Oh, I do not like these sounds. I do not like these sounds at all. I mean, it's been. It's, it, it's night time. Let me sleep. Wait, what the? Oh, hey, you. Yes. Uh, I... Can you not? It's your turn to get out. There we go. I know it's been quite uneventful. Um, I do... Get out of my way. You, you, you know what? You know what? I deserve that one. I deserve that one. Still, get out of my way. Um, yeah, it's been quite uneventful. First night I've been chicken out. Um, I did, you know. Wow, uh, I'm, I'm I'm gonna sound I'm gonna sound very pompous and self righteous just to to clarify it's just part of my role here. <laughs> I'm a little bit hesitant to say because I know there will be somebody out there who's going to be very offended by it, but I'm going to say it anyway. I did bring the gift of rejuvenation to this village. And please prepare yourself as any rightful god should do. Yes, I that I was very self righteous, very ambitious, very self ego -rific. I mean, seriously, what did I do? I just added some fruits. Um, this is not even a stick. I just... It, it's fine, it's fine. Serve that one. Get, get to my love scrub. So, as I mentioned before, as Eagle Tripping, the last statement was, um, reality check, it's probably not enough to sustain me. Uh, as mentioned before, if I don't have a proper mm. source of food, this is going to be a very short day of gameplay. Which will be probably important. Now, there is an added layer of excitement as, you know, the more we go with this little adventure, the more we progress, the more we gather. Even the cows are already getting tired of this 
um, the more we're gonna gain, and since it's hard for survival, as soon as it's there, we die once, it's game over, GG, easy, well, actually, not easy. And that does add a little bit of. Know, the added excitement of any mistake you make, any oh, vital mistake you make, is going to be more and more important to the succession of the, you know, continue the story, continue the adventure. So I'm just going to leave it with here right now because if they are not even going to farm it, then there's actually no point in you know expanding maybe i can you know bar myself completely busy and i don't want them to stunt on the on the crops i have a lot of stuff with me so i need to finish some stuff and actually start finish with a real adventure anything that i absolutely don't need for my little spelunky adventure I'm just gonna ditch. This is really confusing for me because you know, the red color kind of reminds me of uh, the height, the skin of an animal, or the meat. But this does have me of a bronze-ish texture to me, so I need to get used to this is actually copper. Uh, it might be useful. Um, uh, gorgeous, of course. Do I even have wood? I don't have wood. I have this. Uh... Oh, I don't have wood, so you're useless. Too. Just gonna get some wood and I'm gonna just prepare myself for my first adventure. There we go. I still don't know all the things I actually can do with copper. I guess I can make copper weapons. I don't know if that's a thing. Because I do see iron and stone. Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, it might be quite useful since it's going to be dark out there. Dark inside. That's some actual weaponries. Weapons and armor might be useful. Um... I have no idea it's going, how much it's going to protect me against you know, monsters, big monsters. But carelessness is the bane of every fool. Since the day already pretty much started, it's actually not a small idea to go out there. Which I'm going to do regardless. Because I checked the time and it's been too long without any events. Move to YouTube. And no, I don't speak Kaush. But I like to think I can. And Meow to YouTube. So there are a lot of different animals here. Which means I could go for an easy slaughter fest and just, you know, take everything. But sooner or later it's gonna run out. I don't know what I can do with cops. I'm not gonna waste my time with that. I can use some more coal. And the main problem is if you, you know, like, let's compare the... I keep hearing sounds and it keeps freaking me out all the time if you, if you compare the idea of you know ransacking the area ransacking nature and all these critters compared to preserving everything sure preservate the uh, preservation uh, does not gain you as much as it does when you just take everything but keeping the environment sustainable helps you to gain more in the long game and it seems like this is a very small cave or I'm just looking wrong at it. I mean, what's this over here? Is 
Oh, nope, nope, it's Def. Hi, Def. Hi, Mega Def. And uh, goodbye. See, this is where a crossbow would be nice. As mentioned before, going, you know, striking an opponent from a higher position is a lot easier than the opponent can strike from a low position. But this is kind of a bummer. Because we're finally starting an adventure and I still can't do anything. I mean, I can. I mean, I can say, you know, I don't care. But the problem is, I do care. I don't want the adventure to end already. I... Why did I place it there? Uh, I really don't want it to stop ever. But those creepers need to stop. Stop creeper, get some help. Uh, I, I did saw a sh... Hold up, there we go. I need the iron ingot. I am back at the base. Why? No. You, 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 know, you know what? Just, just be safe. It's not a real adventure. If you didn't try, to make an adventure. Please just go down. There we go. This is. Oh, okay, okay, it's just those achievements sounds great, okay. I, I thought there was some sort of new monster or event just going around me because I killed a monster and just don't think too much of it. This is a death trap. If I fall inside and a creeper just lands on top of me, I'm a goner. Why? Why? I, I, I don't want this. It's my first adventure. It's our first adventure. Can you just like not do this thing? Like this thing that you're doing? Just not do, just do this, but the opposite of. Thank you. Yes, the opposite of this thing. Uh, Alright, I, I also need some torches. I actually got the wood. And I still. I still didn't make torches. I have torches? Nope, nope. nope. I hear you, but I don't see you. I'm getting back. Okay, no, 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 no. Uh, I, I hope I'm going the right way. I'm just taking one direction. I'm scared. There it is. I'm still scared. Because if I don't make it, the monster comes around me. I'm gonna get killed, and this little adventure is over. That's a death trap, too. I mean, it's water. But if I fall inside, I can't get out. I'm gonna get killed. I've got powder. I can probably make some with the gun powder. Ah. I didn't say TNT. Let's get for Splunky. And uh, just being destructive in general. Now, sadly, I did not got the second creeper. I guess I wanna throw the gun powder at the second creeper. Like, yeah, I killed your body and I, you're next. But I don't think that. Creeper has the brain, intellect, capacity to understand that I'm actually Freddy the Creeper. There's my little marking point. And I'm not doing this right at all. There we go. I don't know how far the cave goes. I don't know if I can place a base here and I'm very confused. Creeper? Creeper. Creeper. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, seriously, where are you? So there's an end of the cave here, which makes this little place secured. There's apparently a zombie above me. I won't allow any monsters to randomly spawn. Hey, wait. I came from there. I walked over there. And I did not see that at all. So.
so this is the end too, so that's basically everything of this cave. I don't know if this is a small cave because it's relatively close to where I started. Maybe, well actually I did walk by the whole canyon, so if I just you know, jumped in there, I probably would have found a new cave alongside that. But hey, you win some, you lose some. So there's nothing really interesting here. It's kind of a bummer. Considering this was supposed to be Jeez. Can you not? Actually, thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you for proving my point absolutely completely wrong. As I was trying to say before I got so rudely interrupted. This is fine. Uh, yeah, this adventure was, well, like lost a short. I might sort of just strip mine everything here and see if there's anything useful. Because if I have to rate this adventure 1 out of 10, it's going to get a minus 2. That's a nice mountain I can look up to. I'm gonna try to find a village back. If I can do some animals, maybe I can be some sort of animal whistleblower. But stay in this place kind of feels stale already. I mean, so far I've been walking back and forth. Yes, I fought some monsters, but. Anybody with a little bit of game experience would say so far it's a, it has been a little bit lackluster and if, if, if you follow the call of the hero, it was journey, the general concept of stuff. But they, I don't think they got anything going on. This is still relatively new, it's been growing there a little bit. That's great. Um, the adventure does not come to you. You have to go to the adventure. Oh, I have a lot of comfort. Well, if it's, if, if it's that easy to get copper, I don't think it's really that useful. I work for it. Wait, paper and gunpowder. I wonder if I can use this weapon. I mean, Technically, I can use sand as a weapon, and I have that in abundance. Uh, I'm looking for useful tools to expand my uh, capabilities to venture. I didn't have this. I would feel a lot safer fighting monsters if I did have... No. Did I? I... Oh wait, I do have iron ore. Get out. There you go. Thankfully. Yeah, as I was trying to say, I do feel a lot safer if I had a shield. I still not have forgotten you. And you creeper. I, I am going in. You can go out. Shoot. All these villagers look too judgmental at me. I mean, all I did was just, you know, you know, walk into the village, claim it as my own, trying to play some sort of self righteous savior, terraforming place. I mean, people have done worse. Then again, people also have done a bit less worse. But whatever secrets are in there, they will be mine. This looks like a pyramid, which I trust less. Especially when you make it that easy. Nope. This is most likely another death. 
Uh, this is probably the other, yeah, the other side. Creepers, I think. So it's probably these. Is there... It's just, I don't trust this. Because I have, like, protection zero. There we go. That's something. Thing. Right. That's a pressure plate, I think. They are just over there. You are just a color block. But I don't know how this is booby trip like redstone pleasure, like pleasure plates. <laughs> Those are things I do not want to have. Pressure plate. Um, what else do we have? Chip wire. So I'm just gonna. Once again, I'm gonna take the chicken route. Why is there. There was no block underneath that one. And I'm just gonna make my own staircase. I hopefully do not trigger any of the traps. Because if I do. Well, I'm just going to revoke my adventurous license. Because I have a suspicious feeling that I'm just, you know, mining away and all of a sudden it's going like, well, that's a piece of TNT, which you actually touch mining. Is just booby trapped? No, no, no. Uh, can I? Okay, this armed? Maybe? Oh. Okay, that's that's God. Okay, so I can I can connect that. That's still enough TNT to blow me up sky high. Yeah. Okay, so this is this armed. I think that should be about all of it. Needs to not blow up. I'm still alive? Wait. I risk my life for this? Come on. Oh, hey. Spider eyes. That's a horse armor. String that's useful, I think. Like I said, I'm really a craft type alchemy, weaponry, gold tank. The stuff that looks useful are completely useless to me. Oh, fortune three, I have no idea what it does. I am ashamed to admit, in spite of all my crafting and trying that I never got a lot to spell books. And I think it's getting dark, which means that this is another type of death trap. Ah. Oh dear, oh dear. Yep, it's, it, it, it is dark. Geronimo, uh, I, I want to jump for some reason. <laughs> I was unable to jump, I think my knees just gave in a little bit. But I'm gonna call it a day, and it's not been quite that eventful, sadly. Ah. But at least I did not die by stupid things like walking to an obvious trap. And I'm gonna hope to find a new cave. I did some, I did get some materials to, you know, make new weapons. I even have TNT, so, you know, if mobs just annoy me, I just blow them up. Easy peasy. But I'm gonna call it a, a day for now, and I just hope you all enjoyed, and, you know, stay tuned for next time. Have a good day, have a good night, and stay cozy.